morning guys and welcome back to my channel yes of course I'm Andrea Michelle and thank you for joining and coming to peek in and see what I got from Walmart but anywho you guys I've been feeling a little bit bloated bloated okay and I don't know what's going on with me like I feel like I'm not sure if it's 2019 or if it was my birthday because I'm getting older or because I'm just, I need rest or something. But I just been feeling so like, I don't know, not myself. Like, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to cook. I don't want to clean. I don't want to do anything. But I mean, I got to because I'm a single mom and I have to do those things in order to keep the house going and in order to keep myself going in order to keep my son going and I just been feeling I don't know if you guys been feeling the same way but I just been feeling like blah like seriously like blah like I'm just the blob just blind you know just laying on on the couch all the time but I just feel like for instance, I watch you guys on YouTube. Uh, some of my subscribers are YouTubers, so I, I watch you guys faithfully. And um, when I when I don't YouTube, that's when I watch you guys. But I just love some of you guys' energy. It's just like crazy, like energy. And I'm just like, and I wish I had that type of energy. And I'm working constantly since I went back to work. It's like I'm working constantly, you know. And I mean, I should have been read well rested those two weeks. I didn't like I didn't have a job, you know, but um, I guess my body just need to get back to work and get back to working and doing this thing. So what I'm going to do is I want to just start like exercising and stuff like that, going for walks because I had stopped walking. I was walking, but then I stopped and I got lazy and then I didn't do it no more. So I wasn't motivated. So now I'm going to restart my keto because when last time when I did keto, I was doing so, 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 so good until I messed up. And I didn't know that on keto, you can mess up and then hop back on the train like that. You know what I mean? But I didn't want to go through that whole keto flu thing. So today was my first official restart of keto and I did superly well. Like I did so good. And I found like. A water burger um, is keto friendly. You just have to substitute a lot of stuff. So I did eat there for dinner, and it was really, really good. Um, I had some grilled chicken, some lettuce, tomato, like your normal salad, <laughs> you know, and a piece of bread on the side. Um, I did. I tore that bread up because I definitely don't want to leave bread out my my diet. I do want to have some carbs, but not a lot of carbs. So I was just like, can you just take the bottom half? Well, take yeah, take the bottom half and just do whatever you want with it. And I'll just take the top portion and put it on the side if I do want to eat it. You know. So I had those options, and then they had like sugar free zero coke, and I was just like really, really, really amazed. So anywho. My day has been going really good, Hi. and I hope you guys day have been going really good. Look at Ashton. Do you guys remember when Ashton first got on here, and he could not, like, you could not see him for nothing. He, this boy is getting tall. He is sprouting up like a, like a green bean. Like, my baby is getting tall. I know you ain't digging in your nose on the camera. No. What you digging? The side of your face. He uh -huh. it looked like he was digging his nose, y'all, but he was he was digging on the side of his face. But anywho, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, but anywho, you guys, I have definitely have a Walmart haul. Some of the grocery store that I have, um, the grocery store part of Walmart that I got here today oh, is part shh, is part of my keto. So I'll show you that. And then I got some other stuff that I have. So yeah you guys stay tuned because your girl got a haul for you. I got five bags so you better stay tuned. So you guys other than that um the the haul I'm gonna get to it right now but I do want to let you guys know that um, if you know me and you're a faithful subscriber and you've been rocking with me from day one or if you just jumped in when I started vlogging or whatever, um, you know that I suffer really bad from thyroid um, in my neck. And sometimes you guys may notice like my neck gets swollen like it is right now. And I am officially going to get this thing out of my neck so your girl can breathe right. So my... 
my uh, thyroid won't be flaring. It's a 50-50 chance that um, the doctor told me she's like, you can get a surgery, but then you would have to be down for a minute and you can't YouTube. So I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't because I got to stay focused. I have to stay consistent. This, this is a job here, you know what I mean? Like besides my job, I'm not getting paid for YouTube, but I just feel like this is a job. This is going to happen for me. This is 2019. Eventually, I'm going to start getting paid from YouTube, and this is going to become a job. I'm not going to quit my job, um, but I'm going to keep delivering. And if I do get this surgery, because this is a major part, a huge step in my life to get this thyroid, like, gone away. Like, ghost. I don't want to see it no more. Casper, bye-bye. <laughs> um, because it has really put a damper on my life. And the fact that... Um, even though I'm type 2 diabetes, um, and then I got thyroid issue going on, like, this is why I constantly have weight gain, weight gain. I can lose, then gain back, lose, then gain weight. So, I told her about the keto, um, the keto lifestyle, and she's like, the keto diet, she's like, oh my gosh, I'm on the keto. So, that was really, like, it made me feel so good to even talk to my doctor about keto and she knew everything about it. She also told me to, um, she would give me like um, some um, food menu lists where I can start eating healthy and stuff like that. And she backs me up 100% with the keto. So I am so stoked. Like I'm really, really, really happy that um, this is okay for me to do. And she said with that, you'll be losing like, cause I really need to lose. Uh, 20 to 30 pounds before I can definitely have this surgery and it's not she didn't tell me I had to lose this weight I'm losing this weight for myself so I don't want you guys to get it twisted I want to lose 20 to 30 pounds so that I can have this surgery done and she did say like being less of having all that weight on my neck um, it'll heal quicker and I can get back to doing what I love and it's showing you guys all these great hauls all these lovely things that i've found all these deals sales in my budget so my budget wise for walmart i only had like a because i go to walmart and go crazy okay so i did have a 70 dollar budget and i only spent 63 dollars you guys so i'm saving like i'm under my budget like two times i was under my budget when i was at um uh all these for my keto friendly um foods haul um haul thing that i just posted today and then i'm probably going to post this one tomorrow this vlog tomorrow so yeah I, I made these two vlogs in the same day you guys but i will post this vlog uh on monday i mean on tuesday <laughs> you guys but anywho enough of that talking because your girl got to get to this haul so i bought some of this uh minute rice and kuna brown rice and wild rice with kuna um I was gonna I want to try this besides using like their white rice um and it's this has rice in it but it's the wild version of the rice so I definitely am going to give it a go give it a try because I feel like this is going to be really good and what I want to do with this is kind of mi why am I telling y'all this I can cook this for you guys and let you guys see what I want to put in it um then I got some fresh cilantro leaves I love cilantro, love, love, love. It's like my favorite. A lot of people don't like cilantro, but I feel like it's really good because you get that bowel movement and get it moving, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, I love cilantro leaves. Then I got some of the Kitchen Pride uh, white um, whole mushrooms. I like to put these on in my eggs only. Um, I'm not too fun with them in salads and stuff like that, but mushrooms and eggs and stuff, it's really good. Um, and then I got these uh, 90 calorie pack gluten free buddy ugh, buddying <laughs> buddying little pack of turkeys. I want to put this like I want to have my turkey pickle roll ups in this for lunch and stuff like that. So I got one honey roasted one and then one just a regular turkey. And the carbs for this is three grams, one percent. And then sugars are only two grams and that's for this pack as well so yeah i got these instead of the whole pack because when i buy turkey it don't like nobody eats it so i just want to go ahead and get these so i got two each of those and then i got some vegetable oil because this is for frying but i'm gonna use it for baking too as well but i don't i, I like olive oil but i don't like 
coconut oil it's not my favorite thing to uh, put in my food so I would definitely put like olive oil but this was on sale so I definitely went ahead and got this and stopped being so picky when it comes to oil because this is vegetable oil it's really good um, and it's not bad or anything like that um, and then I got some of the great value Greek yogurt the vanilla um, the sugars on this is 19 grams including 14 uh, 14 added sugars um, and then the carbohydrates is 21 grams but you have to but you have to vanilla yes but you got your own uh yogurt cups girl he's trying to get in my car he's trying to get in my greek yogurt no 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 so what i'm gonna do with this i'll show you guys but um that sounds like a lot of sugar and a lot of carbohydrate but when you are um portion sizing it that definitely doesn't like that's not the truth but in here i got some class barbecue brisket marinade sauce and look it's no sugar no carbohydrate or nothing in this in this so this is really good for keto as well i was really looking at the sauces and stuff like that so i got two of these because my family my mama like raised us up on clots so i have to get it and marinate my chicken and stuff in it so yeah i'm really happy that i was able to find that stuff so uh, what I'm trying what I'm doing is budgeting everything and then I'm also gonna start food prepping seriously since I'm doing keto and then um, I'm going to go ahead and start taking my own lunch to work and stuff like that so I'm really excited about that and yeah I'm just really 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 excited about today that I didn't mess up or anything like that I did have some dark chocolate which is I think it's okay and it was like a vegan type of chocolate and then I it had like almonds in it so that's really good because almonds is like one of the nuts that you can have on keto um the first time keto I really didn't research I just kind of looked at stuff and I was like yeah I want to do that and then I was I was really like happy about it but then when I messed up and all that stuff I got so depressed about it but this time I'm really motivated and focused um on doing it so yeah anywho that's the end of that grocery haul so right now i'm going to go show you guys the all the extra stuff that i really needed um i needed some new shoes you guys and yes walmart has the best shoes like i'm gonna say work like shoes for crews or anything like that like the work shoes i don't like their work shoes like they hurt my feet so so so, so bad but i did find some that i really 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 love and guess what they were on clearance today so the regular price was $16 and I got them for a whopping $7 so I was really excited excited um I got these uh these shoes right here well let me see <laughs> I don't know how this works okay so let's just show you like this I got these shoes like this right here these are really really good and comfortable for my feet like I really love these shoes and they are so freaking comfortable I may have a put a picture of them when, when my feet in them on my thumbnail but I don't know just yet but you know I really love these shoes the front of them the side of them these are my second pair the first pair lasted a whole freaking year you just have to keep them clean keep them washed and um, all that good stuff um so yeah so yeah, I like th these type of shoes at Walmart. Um, and then they got some other shoes that I didn't even think they would have there. And they got some shoes that look just like, I forgot the name of those Nikes, but they look just like those Nikes. And I forgot the name of the Nikes, and that's no help right now. But they look just like Nikes or like Reeboks or something like that. And I saw those, but they didn't have my size. But I just like, you can walk in these and feel real comfortable, like the cushion in them are really really freaking comfortable and um they had like new house shoes and uh new dress shoes so if i was to buy another pair of walmart shoes i probably would definitely get some dress shoes i've never seen them have high heels there um also i got two hats i love hats if you guys didn't know i love hats and um most of the time like if i go walking and stuff i have to wear a hat or whatever if i case i have to sweat or something um these hats are really good and these were on sale for like two dollars and 95 cents so i got that one and i definitely got the military hat because you as you guys know i'm ex-military and my family is ex 
um ex-military and then i got some cousins that are military so um i got these right here oh and my dad is mili um he's a military uh a sergeant in the military so yeah i got these and yeah um and then i got some of uh, some undies for little AJJ because he is growing like a sprout he's growing like a green bean and I don't know what to do with myself so I got my mom always taught me to get a size up so if you have a little boy or a little girl um and you feel like because my son weight is always up and down up and down up and down so my son right now he weighs at six years old I think my son is 86 pounds and i know that he's going down it's just all baby fat chunky he's a chunky monkey but okay <laughs> my son is a chunky monkey but and i love him so much and he's my heart but he is he is growing and i'm so happy because my son is gonna be one of those kids that like he's gonna be short like let's say he's gonna be short today but like a couple of months from now he's gonna be like tall as a weed you know what i mean so I'm just getting myself prepared for it. And he needed some new underwear, girl. You know when you know when they need underwear when they got holes in them and then he can't fit in and he say, Oh mama, it's just too tight around the waist. You know, girl, to throw them underwear in the trash. So yeah, your girl definitely got him some new underwear to wear. I got him some seven, I got him some um tag free wicks moisture soft wrist uh waistband. Uh these are seven ones and these are briefs. And then my son is not picky about like his underwear and stuff like that. So I got him what I thought would be so comfortable. And then he got some boxer briefs, soft cotton, comfort, waistband, tag free comfort. And these are Wonder Nation. And the other ones are just fruit of, fruit of a loom. So I got him some of these. So if you have a boy, like I would definitely like my mom said. And at first I didn't think, I was like, what is she talking about? And then I start to see like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a size up because she was like, my mom's like, yeah, they boys, they go from they go from skinny to to thick to big, from big to skinny to thick. It's just like a, a, a like you know they're just growing every five seconds. Like I just don't get it. But yeah, I just I don't mind, you know, because it's my son and i wanted to get i needed to get him some stuff anyways and then i found this nice shirt that i can work out in and then it says the struggle is real and it's a tank top and the struggle is really real <laughs> um so this is what it looks like let me get back a little bit so you guys can see it so it says the struggle is real and then this only costs 3.92 boxers I did hit the jackpot on the boys brief boxers they were $16 but I got them. so I did get these racks for only a dollar and these are the uh, Maystay racks 18 of these came in there for one dollar exciting because I'm doing my closet over organizing stuff decluttering stuff and then my biggest purchase I love it well it wasn't my biggest purchase because it was only like nine dollars but it was this oyster waffle maker i can't wait to make keto waffles you guys i cannot wait um we're gonna mess up and we're gonna get real i'm gonna get real about it i'm gonna mess up on those waffles we're gonna you guys are gonna be there when i make them but yes anywho you guys that is it for my vlog thanks for watching please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we love you it'll help us out a whole bunch thank you so much thank you stay blessed be blessed and let's have a good, good day. Bye.